Hi guys, another Make It Monday little project. Um, this time it is recreating this little Easter basket or any type of basket. It could be for birthdays, Valentine's if you used to write paper, Christmas etc. And this is made using one 6 by 6 piece of DSP or whatever cardstock that you have to hand and you'll need a 6 inch width for the band um, it's an inch by 6 inches so I have a scrap bit of garden, garden impressions here that matches lovely with the Daffodil Delight on this Gingham Gala um, and for the sentiment layered circle section I've got another bit of scrap so just what, use whatever you have to hand. You could use your um, coordinating DSP cardstock. I've got that there just in case I change my mind. So let's start. Now what you need to do is you need to score. Make sure this is in shot. Get my scoring tool. You need to score at two and four inches on both sides flip it and do the same again okay so basically it's two inches in each of the four sides there let me set that aside now it's quite hard to see where you have to cut on this let me get my paper snips so what you want to do is cut up this score line here to the first score line there you do that there and there and then you flip it round on the opposite side and do the same again. So let me just do it like that. Flip it round. Cut. And cut. Right, okay. Now we need to um, fold and burnish all our areas, our score lines even. So cold today in Scotland. It's been rain all day and it was sleet, almost snow, and we're supposed to be getting snow coming this week actually, um, and it's just not fair. I've just got our um, summer house built up, um, and I can't go and sit out in it because it's too cold. Right, so let's keep burnishing all these things. Brilliant. So the centre here is going to be the base of your basket and we are basically, as easy as pie, going to keep this middle section on the bottom, fold one over, fold the other one over and we're simply going to adhere. Now it's up to you how far in you want to actually glue it, um, it depends what width of a basket. But I just want to show you the, um, the basic one, the now which I made. So that's how I glued it there. Now, this one I made as a practice is cute as well. Um, and I left um, more of a gap here. I didn't fold them in as much. Um, so that's a, that's a great size wee basket. And then this one that I done, so it's still with the same bit of paper, I just folded them in completely to make a box basket. But we're not doing that today, we're doing this gorgeous little one. Now what you want to do to give it a better finish is you want to corner punch um, the four corners here. So I'll get my envelope punch board a wee second. I keep meaning to order the handheld corner punch but I keep forgetting. Because that would be a lot quicker for me. Right, however this is a great great corner puncher as you can see right so let me get some tombow glue now what you do is right let's get one side so basically I'm going to fold the two in and we're going to glue it here where it meets the other corner can you see that like so. I make sure I've done that on that one. Yep, yeah, that's what I've done. Um, so what I want to do is, there's no glue on this bottom section here, so I'm just going to put 
it a little bit. You've really got to eyeball this because it's, oops, it is a simple project. So you've just got to play around a little with it. So I'm just going to make sure that will meet in the middle before I let it stick. And it does. Okay, let's apply some glue. <gasps> oh, my Tombow's flying out today. Apply some glue just in this top edge. And match it over. Like so. Just be careful with your glue seeping out. If it's seeping out, you've um, probably got too much on the paper. Like I normally always do. Right, I'm just going to line up the opposite side now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold hold it where it was. Apply a little glue on here for the next side. Like so. Hold it on. And I'm just going to dab a wee bit underneath there. I know it's a wee bit messy, but sometimes messy is fun, isn't it? Until you get sticky, sticky fingers. <laughs> right. And there we have your little basket base. Now, what I want to do is grab my trimmer. Oops, what a racket. And I want to cut a piece from this six by six. And I want it to be an inch. And it's always nice to use a pattern paper if you don't want to um, decorate your box or your bag or your gift basket too much on the outside. And it just gives it a good... Um, contrast so that's fab now I need my punch board again sorry because I want to corner around each bit of this this is stuck in the inside so if you don't have a corner punch don't worry about it but if you wanted to adhere it to the outside like so it does look a lot nicer and you know what, I think I might actually adhere it outside. No, I'll go with what I was planning. Right, what I want to do, I don't know if you can see it here, is I want to apply a little bit glue on that side, and a little bit glue here, no further than where that um, folded bit of paper is, because I want to stick this just to the point it meets that bit of paper. Move it so that it's centre. You see that all right? And then flip the other side over and do the same. Now, you need to be quick with this because this glue does dry pretty quick. So, you just got to manipulate it a wee bit to get it exactly where you want it. Like I see, if it's not bang on in the center, it doesn't matter. There. Ta-da. How fab. Right, let me get some of this glue off my fingers. Right, so now what we want to do is do a three layered section here. Now I'm going to use my starburst for the first layer, the two inch circle punch for the second layer, and the one and three quarter punch for the third layer. Now the first layer, um, I am going to do, what am I going to do? The first layer I'm actually going to do in the coordinating card stock. I'm sure this is the same colour. You know what, it doesn't matter. It's Easterish. that'll do me. So I've just punched out this section. Um, the second layer, I'm going to use a two inch circle punch and I'm going to put the floral the floral side up like so and then the stamping layer I'm going to actually use a scrap bit of the gingham gala to match because this is light enough that I can actually stamp on it so whoopsie remember stamp right near the edge so you're not wasting unnecessary amounts of paper right so let's get the um, glue out I don't overuse my glue for this and you've got to be quick again. Sorry, I'm a bit out of shot there. Got to be quick again, sticking that down. Now I'm going to stamp this layer first before I stick it down. And what I'm going to stamp it with is one of the coordinating colours in this DSP, which is the Grapefruit Grove. 
and I have this here. Now this is one of the ink colours at present and I'm using a stamp set from the regular catalogue, Labels to Love and I'm going to use this uh, Give Thanks stamp. There is a, a lovely two and a from and a for you um, but I want this to be able to fit inside my circle area so that's why I'm using that. Right, so let me get my stamping block, if I can find it, which is here. Now these are the older stamps that unfortunately don't stick too well, so I had a spare bit of the cling stamp sticky stuff. And I just put that on the top. So that uh, gives it a wee bit more hold on your stamping block. I'm just going to give this a little taste. Oh, that's fab. You know what? I might actually change my mind. I'm going to go for the lovely lipstick because I want a bolder um, stamped image than what the Grapefruit Grove has given me. And there is lovely lipstick in this DSP. So let's start that again. So just gently, gently. Now the key to these stamping up pads is you don't force your stamp into it because you can actually end up damaging it. Uh, and if you look after these um, stamp pads, they'll look after you. <laughs> I.e. you won't need to buy them all the time. Just a case of re-inking them. Right, so let me put that ink out the road. Add a little Tombow glue onto here. And whilst this looks a bit busy, it still is beautiful. Right, now what I need now is some dimensionals, which I had to hand earlier. Yep, here they are. And I'm just going to pop this on the side of my bag. Now, for the purpose of this, um, what do you call it, project make that I'm doing, uh, I'm just going to put it on one side. Um, but you, of course, could put, put it on both sides. You could put it on the front here. You could set it up here, further up, but I just want to hide some of this paper join. So I'm just going to pop that in there, like so. I'm going to grab a bit of Whisper White, poke a tool ribbon, and this is my favourite. You know when you get your favourites and you don't really want to use them a lot, but you're like, you know what, people have got to see how lovely it is, so you've got to share it in your projects. Right, so all I'm going to do is tie a little bow on the front here. Now you need to be quite delicate with this because it is tool. Um, if you have a bow maker, you could um, maybe use that. Um, yep, because people, if you're like me and are not very good with your fingers, because I've actually got arthritic fingers and I'm just still young still, it's a bit annoying then it's quite difficult and I use my thumbs a lot but with perseverance you get the desired effect so let me just amend that a little bit and you can uh, manipulate your main part of your bow there no problem now let me snip this down like so and there we have it. That is absolutely sweet. So that's one example of this little um, one sheet wonder box with a scrap section, obviously. There's the one I done earlier. Here's the one that looks more like a little boat, but it's still cute. Um, this would be more um, suitable if you actually put like a bigger Easter egg in it or something. And then this is my final box there, which isn't my favourite. These ones are my favourite. So, yeah, um, thanks for tuning in, watching Make It Monday, and um, I hope to see you again next week. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.